I bought this pack of Shin ramen noodles and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be recreating all the TikTok viral recipes to make this fancy and healthy healthy because I'm still on diet it's actually not that high in calories just 422 hopefully it's gonna be good because uh, I had this before without any special ingredients and I didn't like it so that's why I want to get the most of it because I just bought this on impulse so <laughs> gonna make the best of it For today's recipe, you're gonna need some garlic, minced garlic. You can use normal garlic as well, but I'm too lazy, so I'm using the jar click one. Mayo. In the recipe, it says cupai mayo, but I only have Heinz or Haze, Haze, Haynes, Haynes that I stole from Five Guys. So I'm gonna be using that. And all the packaging from the noodles. And an egg. Some recipe says that you only use yolk, but I'm gonna be using all of it because what else do I do with the egg whites? Next step is optional, but you can do however you like. It's just that these ingredients are the key for the broth and for the taste. Like I said, I'm gonna be making it fancy and healthy. So I need some veg, I need my protein, and I'm gonna be adding an egg as well because I'm Asian. Let's begin. So my choice of protein is beef for today. So let's go ahead and do that. This is the final result! Wow! Taste test! <laughs> For those who say that it's uh, not that spicy, I think it's still spicy. I just don't like the in the powder. I like it when it's like a sauce. So I'll be adding more of the um, noodles water. But honestly, not my best recipe. The next one that I'm gonna do is that. That one is my favorite. And then I'll try some of the new ones that I've never had before. Now, this is gonna be one of my favorite Armion recipe just because I did it so many times and I know it's actually good I don't know who created this original recipe, but I got the idea from the uh, TikToker foodie on flick. I will be following her steps Plus adding some of the things that I would personally want to have in my noodles Some essential ingredients that you should have for this recipe is obviously the shim ramen noodles kimchi American cheese and milk In her recipe, she did add some sriracha sauce as well, but I won't do that because the kimchi and the ramyun uh, Spice is already spicy for me. So I will skip the sriracha But I will also be adding some beef uh, But you can use any type of meat or any protein you like like tofu or mushrooms or anything like that and also, I forgot the seaweed as well. This is essential, so you should have this. And also optional is an egg. And we're trying to make all this recipe fancy and healthy. Not sure about healthy for this specific recipe, but it's gonna be fancy and tasty for sure. <coughs> Thank you. 
Now look at this. Wow. It looks good, right? I'm gonna do the tasting outside because it's really hot today. It's really a good thing that I didn't add the extra sriracha because this is enough spice for me. I know that some Asian people are kind of like to show off that I can eat really spicy food but guys, it's not really good for you. Again, fancy and healthy. Mm. Mm. So that was my favorite Shin Ramen recipe. It's really easy to make. You can basically um, have less ingredients than I did and still make it good because all the necessary thing that you need is milk and seaweed and kimchi. Yeah, that's it. That's all you need. For today's challenge, I have an exciting one for you because this one is the most complicated so far. I found this recipe from Chef Gantas. I hope I'm saying it right. If not, I'm really sorry. But I will link her in the description below. And thankfully, I have all the ingredients that needed for this recipe at home, except for peanut butter. I don't usually eat peanut butter at all, but uh, for this recipe, it requires peanut butter. So I just got the cheapest one. I hope it will work. And everything else, every key ingredients, I thankfully have at home because I live in Asian household. This time I'm not gonna film from up top because last time I nearly burnt my phone because the heat. So what you do is that you need to boil your water. I have made a mess but there you have it that's basically the recipe for the dandan dan ramen from chef Lantas. and we're gonna go outside to do the tasting It is so bright. Anyway, so that was the dandan ramen recipe from Chef Gantas. And I want to say that this is one of the best recipe I've tried for this pack of noodles. Uh, but I would only rate this second best because my favorite is still the seaweed cheesy ramen recipe that I did before. But also I have a few other exciting recipe coming up. So I don't know. I feel like the other two that's coming up can top this one so i would put this one second best the first one is still the seaweed one i don't know if anything can top that but we'll see we'll see but i will definitely be trying this recipe again in the future because it's worth it i've never had peanut butter soup before but this is a new discovery for me and i hope you guys are trying this at home as well because it's definitely definitely worth the time I made such a mess in the kitchen while filming this but I guess that's the life of the food vlogger Oh my god, that's so much to clean but anyway huh? My phone can stick to the door Wow, oh my god I... Oh, oh, oh. Nothing is holding it right now I, I, don't, I don't know how I'm going to show you Just so you know, my phone was holding onto this and there's nothing, like no tripod or anything it was just literally stuck here Okay, we have two Shinramen packs left. So for this fourth recipe, I'm gonna make it really easy, but really time consuming. So we're gonna make Shinramen hot pot. 
But because I'm making this Shin Ramyun noodles hot pot for one, um, I'm gonna make some adjustment. It will still be hot pot style. I will still be adding random things into the pot. So for this recipe, it's really easy. You literally can use anything you have left in your fridge, which is basically why I'm doing this recipe. So today I'm gonna be using, obviously, Shin Ramyun noodles, some lobster balls, tofu, stuff uh fish tofu organic tofu kimchi and sausages that's for when you put it in the pot now you're gonna need to make a broth as well so for broth i will be making traditional tomato soup base so you're gonna need tomatoes onions and instead of powder or any paste i will be using shin ramen powder in the package you may have noticed that for all the recipes i tend to use up everything that the packages includes yeah that's basically it so let's just begin this really long uh hot pot shin ramen noodle for the broth i will be using beef bones So there you have it. That's the kimchi shin ramen noodles hot pot. One of the easiest recipes to make because you literally just dump everything in the pot and just wait for it to boil. But it is time consuming. It took me about half an hour to make it. However, you can use the ready-made broth. Like you don't need to make it from scratch the way I did. So it would actually take less time maybe 15 minutes to boil everything up if you love hot pot this is definitely a recommendation to make at home like easiest hot pot for one ever but still not my favorite and i cannot wait for the last recipe and that one is going to be a challenge because it will be a bit harder than this one but cannot wait so for me it's going to be in a few days but for you will be literally just in three two one we are finally here the last recipe of this mm. as you see this is not my kitchen we at nargis's house because i need to leave for ukraine tomorrow and i can get to the airport from here much faster than from my house anyway too much information i know this is going to be one of the most exciting recipe because i've never done this before and there's so many ingredients that i need to buy for it as well so i have invested i invested in this recipe and this is not like shin ramen recipe specifically i just kind of like uh collected different ideas from different recipes and combined into one it's a bit similar to the one that i did before but i'm gonna add coconut coconut the crucial ingredients you're gonna need for this recipe is peanut butter any type of coconut milk cream garlic ginger powder in the recipe it says curry powder but i'm gonna use the ramen powder as usual and everything else you want in your ramen basically first i am gonna boil the noodles in here and fry some garlic it's fine oil. we have coconut oil I don't mean the
Поделить последний круг. Все, это вечер. This is supposed to be noodle soup, but in this Asian household, we don't have normal bowls for soups. And this is how you make shin ramyun peanut satay noodle soup. We have a new tester today. So that concludes how you can make five different recipe. One uh, Vietnamese friend. <laughs> and shin ramen noodles. I'm very surprised that you can make so many. Make sure to try this at home. Spot effect Asian.